hi guys it's your girl Mata here again and today in Mata's kitchen we are making some yummy pepper soup goat meat with plantains this is a dish that we commonly eat in Cameroon when the weather is cold because of the heat we also love having it when we feel sick new moms love having some pepper soup as well and to those of us who train we love having pepper soup because of the heat it helps us to feel so bad so if this is a recipe that you love to learn how to prepare it keep watching I will be using four cups of water to boil my goat meat and guys just go ahead use the quantity of water that will be enough to cook your meat thoroughly or depending on how tender you want it to be so four cups of water is what I need and of course we are making goat meat pepper soup so obviously we need some goat meat right here is my goat meat and i went ahead and cut it into tiny pieces i have one tablespoon of beef seasoning and one teaspoon of salt so these are the ingredients that i'm going to use to boil my goat meat so you will need some onions right here i have one medium sized onions and we're making pepper soup of course we need some pepper i'm using two habanero peppers and we need some ginger that is about an inch of ginger that i am using i will be using eight cloves of garlic and some leeks that i have chopped and i'm adding leeks to my pepper soup because I want it colorful you know with all the ethnic spices if you don't put something colorful in it the color might be dull and right here I have a handful of jangsa and it's about 50 pieces that's what jangsa looks like guys is there an English name for jangsa or is just jangsa let me know in the comment section below and this is four corner I have searched for the English name of this spice and I could not find it please let me know in the comment section below what it's called but in Cameroon we call it four corner and I'm using the peeled version of it and in here I have have a teaspoon of white pepper I'll be using one quarter teaspoon of bebe. I think this is what we call African nutmeg. Please correct me if I am wrong. That's what we call African nutmeg in Cameroon. I you do not need to put it much in your food because it might taste bitter. It has this after bitter taste. Same with the country onion. So I'll be using half a teaspoon of country onion because you don't want it to overpower your pepper soup. And this is what it looks like. We call it rondel. And I hope I'm correct, guys. <laughs> Please, if I made a mistake about the English names of the spices, just let me know in the comment section below. And of course, we need some plantains to go with our pepper soup. So, I'm going to start by boiling my goat meat. Guys, make sure to wash your goat meat before boiling. And I'm adding in my salt and my beef seasoning. And I'm also adding in my four corner, the peeled one. I'm using two pieces and I'm adding it because of the flavor you know good meat also has like this strong smell so four corner spice is strong enough to kill 
that smell from the goat meat though this goat meat i'm using didn't smell that bad as i was expecting and just mix your meat and let it cook for 10 minutes so that that salt and seasoning can get into it very well before adding in your four cups of water so i'm just going to add in my four cups of water and let the meat cook for about an hour or until the water gets dry and while it's cooking i'm going to prepare the other ingredients so the reason why i'm using red onions for this recipe it's because of the added flavor since that it's good meat if i was preparing maybe pepper soup fish or beef or chicken i would have used our regular onions the white onions and i'm adding a cup of water to help blend my spices and this is what it looks like since our meat is still cooking i'll just go ahead and peel my plantains guys pepper soup is one dish that is so so easy to prepare once you have all of your spices your your food should be ready in about an hour or an hour and a half if you boil your meat in a pressure cooker your food should be ready in an hour so i'm going to peel my plantains and cut one plantain into four pieces and i just love cutting it like this without the knife i don't know about you so our meat has cooked for about an hour and the reason why i did not use the pressure cooker because i did not want to overcook the meat because once you add your plantains it's going to cook again for about 30 minutes so that time that the plantains will get ready the meat will be cooking so i added in my white pepper my country onion bep bep and the blended spices so i'll be adding three cups of water and since as i am an african woman i am going to like use part of that water to rinse my blender and sort of get all that extra spices and after doing so i'm going to add in the leftover water and add in my plantains so once you add in your plantains just mix everything up and make sure that the water is above like the plantain level your plantain or your meat level it should be a little bit above so i'm going to add in two more cups of water because we want our pepper soup to be soupy that's why it's called pepper soup we need that soup to eat our plantains and our good meat so once i you add in your water just mix everything up taste for salt and seasoning the maggi and mine is not enough so i'm going to i'm adding in half a teaspoon of salt and i'm just going to mix that up and let it cook for about 30 minutes or until my plantains are ready so you can see my plantains are ready and our pepper soup it's ready as well this is how simple how easy it is to cook pepper soup and remember you can add Irish potatoes you can just prepare it and have it with some boiled rice I used to love pepper soup with boiled rice but I love it with boiled rice when I use like I prepared pepper soup fish and look at that consistency it's not too thick and it's not watery so this is just the perfect consistency because once it gets cold it becomes thicker so guys this is it for the video and i hope you enjoyed watching please do not forget to give it a thumbs up comment and share with friends and family and if you haven't subscribed yet please do not forget to do so 
subscribe so that you won't miss these amazing recipes that i bring to you every friday do have a lovely weekend guys and i will see you all next week friday stay safe stay healthy bye